Here's what we do know. Life doesn't get any easier. It doesn't get more forgiving. We just get stronger and we get more resilient. One thing I've noticed is that enthusiasm is common, but endurance is rare. The race is not given to the strong nor the swift, but it is given to he that endureth until the end. One thing I know is that we've all been hit with a measure of adversity at some point in our life. Everybody listening to me has been hit with a measure of trauma. Everybody wants destiny. Everybody wants manifestation. Everybody wants fulfillment. Everybody wants the next level and the relationship and a higher quality of living. But nobody wants to eliminate distractions. Nobody wants to disappear for three months, four months, six months, and, and, and eliminate all distractions and get it to a place where you can focus on just you. What if you could just shut out every distraction? What if you could just shut out the world for just a season and focus on you? A man is rewarded in public for what he does in private. The, the reason why you don't see it, the reason why it has not manifested, the reason why you are so frustrated is because you have not been willing to forsake all that you've been called to forsake and to follow through behind closed doors. Sure, you can talk about it. Sure, you can plan it. Sure, you can write it down. Sure, you can go to the conference and hear about it. You can read about it. But at some juncture, you have to disappear and put the work in and come back and shock everybody that doubted you. Some of you don't even realize you have unfinished business. You need to go back where you left off with a new perspective. Go back to the gym. Go back to the drawing board. Go back to the business. Go back to the relationship. Go back to the burning building. You have unfinished business. All you got to do is show up with a new game plan and a new perspective. You got to finish business. You have unfinished business. You got work to do. What happens when your perspective your perception diametrically opposes your reality. If you are going to give and grow and evolve and attain and become, everything rises and falls on your viewpoint. Perspective is everything. Let's go. I need you to hear me loud and clear. How you see this thing is everything. You cannot change the past, but you can change your perspective about it. Your viewpoint is your advantage. Your viewpoint is what changes the game. Everybody wants increase and, and abundance and lifestyle change and new zip codes and new area codes, but you only read once a week and you only work out once or twice a month. And so the, the reason why you don't have what it is that you see, the reason why what's in your head it's not in your hands, it's not your reality, it's because your perspective opposes your potential. You don't have it because you don't see the value in it. If you believe you've been called to be the difference maker, the game changer, the disruptor, the person that comes into a room and commands the atmosphere, if you believe you've been called to be necessary and not grossly irrelevant, then everything you do, everything you see, everything rises and falls on your perspective, your perception, your viewpoint. How do you see this thing? And see, when we get into the prison of fear, because we have fallen in an area, fear has friends. One of the chief friends of fear is doubt. And doubt kills more dreams than failure ever will. There are people who have failed in their head before they even reach the field. So I wanna invite you to renounce the spirit of fear. Failure is the only opportunity to begin again. And if I'm talking to anybody that's hungry for the future, all you need is an opportunity to try again. Failing doesn't make you a failure. It's something you did. It's not who you are. 
And so one thing we are going to have to get crystal clear about is that if I failed, then I can win. 